What's up, guys? We are R Nice. My name is Gerard. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. I'm Alex. And we're hitting you guys with another video. We're going up with a movie <coughs> by a Patreon subscriber. A request, special request. For another classic, another movie from the 50s. Black and White. 1954 was uh, a very, very important and major star of the time. Mr. Marlon Brando. Woo! Vito Corleone. Vito Corleone from The Godfather. And we're watching On the Waterfront. On the Waterfront. I live now, on the waterfront. I don't, know yes, what, I don't know a thing about this movie. I don't know. And that's the case with me. I'm sure the rest of you guys. Uh, on movies from the fifties. I was born in 1995, so I, <laughs> I, I was I wasn't I'm, even swimming yet. I'm a, I'm, I'm I remember seeing late. this. I remember this seeing this in the theater. It cost me five cents. I don't think I had. <laughs> I, they don't, I don't think they had movie tickets for me to go see this movie when I was old enough to go see the movies. But I, I have no concept of what this story is about. At zero. I know that Martin Brando is in it. I know that the the. Yep. That's all you know. No. Yeah. I, I, the, <laughs> The lady from uh, North by Northwest. Eva Marie. Eva Marie. St. Clair? Is it? Or St. Thomas? Something, 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 something like something. that. I only Sorry remember about like her name. I apologize. Uh, she's in this as well. <clears throat> and, uh, well, I don't know what to say. Like, I have nothing else to say. Let's just get to it. That's it. This is Maybe a movie. Let's get right we'll into it. We'll have more to say after, I'm sure. Let's get to it. The Titanic. Isn't that the chip that was split in half? <laughs> yeah. That's the one that sunk. The one that split again. <laughs> Does look that a little like the Titanic, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna see Leonardo DiCaprio in like a minute. Oh, look at that! Look at that nice bride. Yeah, you take it, Mister. Look how young he looks. He looks my age, maybe a little older. Joey, Joe, Joe! Hurry! What do you want? Hey, I got one of your birds. I lost him in the last race. Yeah, well, listen, don't worry. I'll take him up to your lot. Okay, I'll see you on the roof. I, they were talking to code. All right, that was, that, was, was, that was code speak, right? He, possibly. There was two armed guys on the top. You're you're from up there. Is that still a thing over there? The pigeons? From upstate? In New York? Is was. that still Is happening? Is there coops in New York? I remember that. Yeah? I don't know if it's still happening. Did you ever have one? No, my cousin. Or your family wise? Yeah. Yeah, that was code. Did they just that whack him? Somebody fell off the roof. I know that guy. I think they just whacked him. That's not saying. That was all code to get that guy killed. I thought he was gonna sing to the crime commission. He will. Oh, he was a rat. That's the idea. I thought they was gonna talk to him and get him to dummy up. Maybe gave him an argument. Oh. I figured the worst they were going to do is lean on him a little bit. Well, like I said, maybe he gave him an argument. He wasn't a bad kid, that Joey. That kid there, Maybe he could sing, but he couldn't fly. <laughs> oh, that's messed up. Yeah, that really... Damn. I didn't know this was going to be a mob movie. Nor did I. This movie took off running. Yeah. We just saw a man get whacked. And he was the one that technically... For trying to snitch to the police. He was the only longshoreman that had the guts to talk to them crime investigators. Who asked you? Everybody knows that. Shut up. I know how you feel about cops, but maybe if you could give me some leads, I could... I kept telling them. That's being quiet. Say nothing. Keep quiet. You'll live long. You don't ask no questions. You don't answer no questions unless you want to wind up like that. Uh, some some newspaper? Stay away from him! Stay away from him! Father, my brother is dead and you talk about time and faith. My brother was the best kid in the neighborhood and everybody said so. Listen, I, I'm in the church if you need me. Did you ever hear of a saint hiding in a church? Hmm. Ooh, yeah, call them out. Call them out. And nobody tough anymore. <clears throat> Hiya, slugger. Hiya, Johnny. Hi, did you? Hey, God, now don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yeah. You handle that cheap metal all right? Oh, yeah, it was easy. A little check, I fake the receipt. Here it is. Here you are. 45 bills. Why do I feel like people are short in him? How come you never got an education like your brother Charlie here? The only arithmetic he ever got was hearing the referee kind of pretend. You know, you're <laughs> not too funny today, fat man. Hey! Oh. My money's on Brando. You know, taking over this local took a little doing. There's some pretty rough fellas in the way. They give me this to remember him by. He had, a, he had to keep his hand over his throat to stay alive, and he still went after them. Well, I got 2,000 dues-paying members in this local. That's 72,000 a year legitimate. The union. Mm. Deal I sweated and bled for and I got a one lousy little cheesy to that dog bum who thinks he can go squealing to the crime commission, do you? Hmm. Okay. 
Mm. Well, no, Johnny. I, I just figured I should have been told. I make it 26 23. You're 50 short, skin. I must have miscounted. Give me. Oh, I boy. told you. Oof. I told you. I was like, why do I feel like people are shorting at him? I knew it. I was like, I feel like you guys see that monster in, him, in the back. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not over the, the slopping around. I just mm -hmm. that is a big that Luca Brachi. Hey. <sighs> I don't know you want these type of friends, dude. I thought this movie was like a romance. I had no idea this was gonna be the, this type of movie that we're looking at right now. But I do get him though. It's like I wish you know if somebody told him he would have been more mentally prepared. Honestly. No, but that's the way they do this. this Brooklyn. It's like we in New York. Is this Brooklyn. It is. They look like the rooftops of my, uh, when I grew up at. It's New York. Well, they sure got it made, huh? Eating, sleeping, flying around like crazy. Raising gobs of squabs. He was a good boy, that Doyle kid. Sure he was. That's why he got it in the head. Yeah, but he couldn't learn to keep his mouth shut. You're looking you guys. Seriously. Why don't you keep that big mouth of yours shut? What are you, wise guy? If I was wise, I wouldn't be no long shaman for 30 years. This is giving me, Seriously. like... This is like a prequel to The Godfather, like I'm, I'm like the origins. It, I'm getting vibes. Definitely getting mafia vibes. Waterfront Crime Commission, what's that? Oh, I just want to ask you a few questions. You see, we're getting ready to hold public hearings on waterfront crime and underworld infiltration of Longshore Union. I don't know nothing. I just want to ask you some questions about some people you may know. People I may know? That's right. Mm. I don't know nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I want you and your girlfriend to just take off. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was just... I love the way he's treating that guy. Oof. When I'm dead and gone, you'll know what a friend I was. Why don't you drop dead now so we can test your theory? Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Edie. This is my parish. I don't know how much I can do, but I'll never find out unless I come down here and take a good look for myself. Mac, I got a couple of kids. Hey, Mac, I got a Hey, whoa, now, whoa. Yeah. Then that's a fight for work. That's crazy. Honest man, thank God that we don't have to go through that. I'm surprised at you, Father, if you don't mind my saying so. Letting her see things ain't fit for the eyes of a decent girl. That's your job. You're a dad. Am I wrong? No. Is this all you do? Just take it like this? Well, what about your union? No other union in the country would stand for a thing like that. No, it wouldn't actually. A corrupt union. There ain't one place where it's safer even talk without getting clobbered. The church. Are you really are you really gonna put yeah, that at risk? You got a cigarette on you? Oh. Yeah. I'm one of you guys. Yeah. I, I, I like the priest. Sticking up for his men. Mm-hmm. The priest and this Doyle girl are getting a meeting up together down at the church. We want a rundown on it. You know, the names and the numbers of all the players. Say what? <laughs> I know uh, I'll be stooling. I'll be snitching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking notes. The Julian afraid. did it. Julian's down there. Julian did it, and Janita told him to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. I'm snitching. It was done with a 22 for a dollar. Thought there'd be more of you here, but... <laughs> the scare, give him time. The, uh, the Romans found out what a handful could do if it's the right handful. The working conditions are bad. Two, they're bad because the mob does the hiring, and three, the only way we can break the mob is to stop letting them get away with murder. Who killed Joey Doyle? It's not going to happen day one. You just you guys, you know, yeah, time. They're, yeah, they're, they're not going to talk. And especially people that have been living in that situation for a couple They're scared. This, of time. This, this is what happened to Joey, to Joey Doyle, Doyle. How can we call ourselves Christians and protect these murders with our silence? Mm. You know the guilt for this. They're afraid, bro. They must have seen a lot. Mm -hmm. They must have seen, they seen a lot of people get hurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, that's not going to be nice. I like this priest. Damn. At least throw a punch back, guys. Yeah, are you on the level? What do you think? If I stick my neck out and they chop it off, would that be the end of it, or are you willing to go all the way? Down the line. You stand up, and I'll stand up with you. Right? Down the wire, so help me God. Oh, this, oh, this priest is a. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta yeah. do, you gotta do. He, sh speaking. That man's a saint. Which side are you with? Me, I'm with me. You don't have to be afraid of me. I'm not gonna bite you. What?
daughter of mine walking arm in arm with Terry Malloy. Do you know who Terry Malloy is? The kid brother of Charlie the Gent, who was Johnny Friendly's right hand and a butcher in a camel hair coat. Is he a single father? I think uh -huh. so. Pop, I've seen things that I know are so wrong. Now, how can I go back to school and keep my mind on, on things that are just in books? I'm going to stay, Pop. And I'm going to keep on trying to find out who is guilty for Joey. You're going to get yourself killed. Girl, that her. She's going to get her dad killed. By the way, I'm getting a weird feeling on her being with him. I don't feel like the crime is going to continue to stop. I, I have a feeling her father owes him, owes them some type of money. You really a prize fighter? I used to be. I fought in the club smokers and pedal papers, and Johnny Friendly bought a piece of me. And people get in your way, you just, just knock them aside, get rid of them. Is that your idea? Listen, don't look at me when you say that. It wasn't my fault what happened to Joey. Fixing him wasn't my idea. Ooh. Who said it was? Well, everybody's putting a needle on me. You see, writing himself yes. out? Yep, being guilty. Living like an animal. I'd rather live like an animal than end up like... Like Joey. Hmm. <laughs> I like the dynamic that they have where it's like kind of the realist versus the idolist and the opposite attracting. Yeah, complete opposites, by the way. Yeah, 100%. Help me if you can, for God's sakes. I'd like to help, but nothing I can do. So now she knows that he's ha a hand? Yeah, but I don't think she knows that he's the reason her brother's dead. At some point, she's, I'm assuming she's going to find out that it was him. If I had my tuxedo, I'd ask you to dance. But... <laughs> it's funny, it was... Spin? Huh? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing charming he has a, about him. He has a good heart. Yeah, he has a good like heart. I said, man. He has a good heart. You can tell he has a good but heart. But like Julian said, he's grounded to re the, 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 realism, the realism that's going on around him. He's trying to survive himself. <laughs> right now? Look at how big that dude is. Look at his hands. If he headbutt you, was over. You're uh, being served with a subpoena, Mr. Malloy. Be at State House, courtroom 9, 10 o'clock Friday morning. It was Johnny Friendly who had Joey killed, wasn't it? He and your big brother Charlie? You can't tell me, can you? Because you're part of it. Because you're just as bad as the worst of them. Tell me the truth, Terry. Shh. Quit worrying about the truth all the time. Worry about yourself. No wonder everybody calls you a bum. Ooh, Ooh. low blow. How are you going to keep your eye on that church meeting? I was there. There was nothing happening. Half an hour later, a certain Timothy J. Dugan had a secret session with a crime commission, and he done all the talking. Well, that crummy bitch, and he ought to have his neck run. You know where you're going? Back in the hole. No more cushy job in the law, but it's down in the hole with a sweat gang till you learn your lesson, see? Hey, you. Oh, my goodness. This guy had a thing for slapping people. From him and his brother, they're coming from a hard place, man. They're just trying to live at that point honestly they're just trying to live these guys are dangerous that slap is still ringing in my ear <laughs> all right take it up take it up take it away <laughs> well i'm not gonna fall i'm gonna be dropped ah! get a doctor he don't need a doctor he needs a priest talking you know these guys got eyes everywhere Taking Joey Doyle's life to stop him from testifying is a crucifixion. And dropping a sling on K.O. Dugan because he was ready to spill his guts tomorrow, that's a crucifixion. Go back to your church, Father! Boys, this is my church. And if you don't think Christ is down here on the waterfront, you've got another guest coming. Joey, no, don't do that. Who said you on, boy? Let him finish. I don't understand. They still call him father, but it's respectful. He sees you selling your souls to the mob for a day's pay. <laughs> the next bum that throws something deals with me. I don't care if he's twice my size. Now, what does Christ think of the easy money boys who do none of the work and take all of the gravy? Just watch this. Oh. Oh. He's a fighter. If you do it to the least of mine, you do it to me. Only you, with God's help, have the power to knock him out for good. I really hope nothing happens to that priest. That priest is a very good orator. That was a powerful scene. That was. And the way he tied in the Bible definitely moved hearts. You think I'll do a hit on the, on the priest? That's a little too much sacrilegion. I brought you Joey's jacket. Yours is coming apart. I wonder if the jacket, like his jacket coming apart, is like kind of like a symbolism of his previous character breaking down and becoming better and 
her giving him Joey's jacket is kind of like his redemption. Mm. There you go. There you go. Yeah! Come on. I don't know, though. Speaking of the father, I don't know. Isn't she supposed to be a sister? Listen, you gotta listen to me. Wait a minute, I'm the one that set Joy Doyle up for the knockoff. Ooh, for the beans. Come on, take a walk with me, kid, and give it to me straight. And I want you to believe me when I tell you I just thought they was gonna lean on him a little bit. I never figured it was gonna knock him off. But you know, if I spill my life, I ain't worth the nickel. And how much is your soul worth if you don't? Ooh. I'm not asking you to do anything. It's your own conscience that's got to do the asking. Edie called me this morning. She's coming here to talk to me. Why don't you tell her? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, but if you tell Edie, Edie going to go to the cops. Literally, Edie's going to be in trouble because she's going she's gonna to want to try to get revenge or something. Edie's going to die. Yeah, He's going to die. Hurt. Yeah, Reese is, is going to die. That's going to be bad. Idea. It is not. Definitely not. They're gonna whack, whack the priest yeah, right I now. Yeah, I keep thinking they're gonna hurt him. I think that Yo, horn, I don't think she's hearing you, dog. I think that horn symbolizes her, her emotions. She just blocked you inside of her head. Yep, now she's running. Didn't I see you in the garden three, four years ago with a fellow named Wilson? Yeah. Thought you were gonna take him that night. Man, he really dumped you. He dumped me, huh? Well, why didn't you finish him off? Oh, what are you talking about, finish him off? I was doing a favor for a couple of pounds of mine. Favor? If I'd have put him down, I'd have had a title shot. His brother forced him to lose the fight. When those guys want to win a bet, there's nothing they won't stop at. Hmm. Talking cold once again. I didn't hear him, boss, but I sure seen him nose to nose like a pair of lovers. The flatfoot was eating it up. He's a bum. After all the days I gave him in the loft, he's got no gratitude. Just shut up! All I want to know is, is he D&D or is he a canary? For your sake. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. What do you want me to do? Look, it's simple. Drive him out to this place we've been using. Try to straighten him out on the way. If you don't, get him to Jerry G. Johnny, I can't do that. And don't. Yikes. Hmm. His own brother. The grapevine says that you got, you got a subpoena. Something has to go wrong, bro. You don't do anything, and you don't say anything. There's more to this than I thought, Charlie. You don't mean that you're thinking of testifying against some people that we might know? Don't do it, man. Don't do it. I don't know, Charlie. Oof. Don't do it. I mean, I'm telling you, I don't know, Charlie. That's what I want to talk. I'm telling you, I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, make up your mind before we get to 437 River Street. Oof. That's his hit. Before we get to... Listen to me, Terry. Take the job. Just take it. No questions. Ooh. Take it. I think Charlie pushing it kind of made it worse. Mm -hmm. Because Charlie can die too. Well, that's true, but... And Charlie don't want him dead. You know, if, if they put their minds to it, I'm pretty sure they could have come up with something better. Or maybe he could have convinced the kid to actually not say anything. Instead of pulling the gun. I don't know, but it's a hard position to be in. Could have been another Billy Khan. He brought you along too fast. It wasn't him, Charlie. It was you. You was my brother, Charlie. You should have looked out for me a little bit. That's true. Mm hmm You should have taken care of me just a little bit so I wouldn't have to take them dies for the short end money. Well, I had some bets down for you. You saw some money. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. It must hurt hearing from your younger brother. It must hurt. Yeah. You can take this. You're going to need it. Oh, no. They're going to whack Charlie. Uh-oh. Oof. Four uh, shots. Yeah, five, five shots. Hey, got Charlie. Terry, I'm frightened. Let's get out of here, please. First Joey and then Dugan. And now Charlie and next. Please, Terry, someplace where we can live in peace. I'm gonna take it out of this. Go. Uh oh. It's gonna be filled with revenge. Is he just gonna start popping shots, bro? He just walked in with a gun? Where's John Friendly? He's not here now. The priest? Stay where you are, Julio. Give me the gun. You go to hell. What did you say? Go to hell. 
Oh! Oh, really, Father? Sorry, let me help you up there. Get your hands off of me. You want to be brave? And it's none of your business. You want to be a brave man with firing lead into another man's flesh? It's none of your business. Isn't being brave. Uh, Why don't you mind your own business? Firing lead into another man's flesh isn't being brave. It's none of your business. You want to hurt Johnny Friendly? You find him in the courtroom tomorrow with the truth. As you know the truth. I mean, that's the best way to get revenge, to be honest. Don't that take one. his life. Destroy it. He needs to say everything in court. Next witness, Mr. Malloy. You just killed his brother. You better expect mm -hmm. that he's going to spill on you. Not that much he pulled a gun on your boys yesterday. Can you tell me whether Mr. Friendly said anything to you to indicate his responsibility in getting rid of Joy Doyle? Right. And would you say, Mr. Malloy, that Mr. Friendly made it very clear to you that it was absolutely necessary that he murder Joey Doyle in order to maintain his control Turn of that the, on the waterfront locals, is that correct? Thank you, Mr. Malloy. You've done more than break the Joey Doyle case. You just dug your own grave, go for it. You're dead on this waterfront and every waterfront from Boston and New Orleans. You don't drive a truck or a cab. You don't push a baggage rack. You don't work no place. Right. You're done. You just found yourself guilty right there. Some assault. I feel like a very tough Ronnie Dangerfield. You could do lots of things, anything, as long as you're away from Johnny Friendly. And even the longshoremen, you try to help them and they just turn their backs and stick to their stupid D&D. &D. You're going down there. They always said I was a bum. And I ain't a bum, Edie. I'm just gonna go down there and get my rights. Ah, uh, this is not gonna be good. I've been saying this entire movie. Every single scene is not good. I would have been gone. I would have been in a farm. That's what I'm saying. I don't know about coming. This is not a good idea. All right. Everybody works today. Where them cops of yours, Stuart? You're going to need them. You're still short in the hatch, Mac. Hey, Speck. Bring me the first man you see. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, your man, man. That was the homeless guy from yep. earlier. One more the same? Come back tomorrow. All right, that's it. Hey, come on, stay. All right, come on. Stand up for him. Stand up for him now. You're a law abiding union. Sure. Understand? Oh, yes, sir. Hey, friendly! John Friendly, come out of there! You want another trouble with you? You think it makes you a big man if you give the answers? Well, at the right time, I'll catch up with you. Be thinking about that. Now go on, beat it. Don't push your luck. You take them heaters away from you and you're nothing. You know that? You talk yourself in the river. You ratted on us, Terry. I was ratting on myself all them years. I didn't even know it. Come on. No, bro. Ah, uh, dirty. Come on now, bro. The boxer, man, come on. What the heck? <laughs> this guy needs his, this guy needs his beaten. Come on, guys. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Wow, think about it. Go. Ooh. That's enough. Just let them lay there. Oh, these guys. These guys. You guys better have my back. All of y'all. You hear yeah, me? I don't, I, know know I, I, don't know I don't know about Alex. 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 I don't know about Alex now. The priest will get in there. What happened? Dude, he got worked over. He got beat up, so you have to call one, two, you three, are. four. Get him! Dude, he wrecked his face. Terry. How about Terry? He don't work, we don't work. There you go. Work! He can't even walk! All my life, you pushed me around. Oh, come on! Ah! Oh, Pop's got some mean right hook! He did. He walks in, we walk in with him. They're waiting for him to walk in. Stop. Can you walk? Walk? Yes, walk. Johnny Friendly's laying odds that you won't get up. 
Ooh. Oh, we gotta Ooh. kill him that. Oh, oh, we gotta side kill him that. A little uh, side bend now. Me on my feet. He lost because they jumped him, bro. I know, that's what I'm saying. It was dirty. He's a punk himself. The guy's a punk. Finish what you start. Leave him alone. Oh, come on. Leave him alone. They worked him over, bro. He probably got a couple broken ribs. Yeah, I think 100%. he's trying to hold that all together right now. Probably have a hard time just breathing. All right, let's go to work. Bravo. Wow. What a good that Bravo. ending was perfect. Oof. Yeah, but did Johnny go to the hospital or something? Like, is he gonna make it? Like, that's the real question now. Ali. Is he gonna make it? I felt his spin towards the end there. Oh. Oof, I'm out of breath. Wow, what a movie. It took four to five guys to take him on. Listen, I thought Marlon Brando was fantastic in this. Yeah. I mean, oh, absolutely. totally agree. I, you know, we used to, I mean, for the most part, to me, the most iconic role was The Godfather, right? Yeah. I didn't see that here. I saw nope. a whole other guy. You know, you know how some people make movies and they type cast for a certain role, like you, you see that guy everywhere? Yeah, but you, you know, can Like, yeah. as much as I love John Barron's draw, maybe because I love The Punisher, I just see The Punisher. Right. Yeah. Not the Punisher, he, that's a guy right now fighting a Guadalcanal. Right. Uh, you know, I didn't see that. Like, I saw a different guy here, and his range of acting was was fantastic. Yeah, it was You great. know, I really did. Um, Ava Marie, right? That's her name? Ava Marie? Yep. Mm -hmm. Ava Marie, this was her breakout role? That's what we found out in the beginning? Really? Yeah, I said introducing. Introducing. This was a breakout role. Um, I thought she did very well. I liked it more in the other movie. North by Northwest. North, North, yep. Here, she looked, she looked like she was frantic all the time. You know, she was right. just... And no matter what right. you say, where are you going? Yeah, like, like, from like, emotion okay. instead of actual judgment. Yeah. But she, but but she looked very different than what was in the other movie. You know, uh, not to knock her down. You know, it's maybe just the part that she has. She's doing what you know, whatever the story is written or whatnot. Yeah? But this was a, this was a very good movie. I did like this movie. I did. I did not think this was gonna be um, <laughs> a mob, a mob related yeah. uni type story. I really right. thought this was like a like a like a a romance. A romance, and this this. That, that happened maybe for five seconds of the movie, the romance. That, yeah. yeah. You know, it, that, that barely happened. But this this was pretty violent. It was. I was but, I just I I was catching myself. I was like, every scene I was like, oh, this is not gonna end good. This is not yeah. gonna end good. Like and it did it. Yeah. People were getting snuffed. Yeah. People were getting you can't go to church without people outside waiting for you. Mm -hmm. People were whacked. People, people were whacked, were... you were off the building. Uh huh. People yep. were uh, uh, we got a bit of everything here in, the, in yeah. this particular flick, yeah, you know. The movie, the movie did a very good job in um, definitely showing us um, through his eyes, through through him, kind of like, hey, I, I got involved in something, you know, I have, you know, I, I can't really talk. I need mean, someone like, what does it feel to to not be able to see what you're involved in? You know, uh, even from the very beginning, just seeing what happened, the movie's like, it sets the pace. You're like, we just saw somebody, somebody just get killed. Like, what is 40 seconds into the movie? That's how the movie started. Where like, I, I was like, this is a mafia movie? Like what? I I had no idea. I was not expecting yeah, it to be. And, and you know, by the way, I blame all of this on the brother. Yeah. You know, because I don't think he, I don't think that this Charlie? Ter Terry. Yeah, Charlie. So I blame Charlie. Yeah. I don't think I don't think Terry had any. He wanted to like he was a boxer. Yeah. yeah. And, and he, he would have made us a boxer. He would have made us a boxer. He would have. Yeah. But he took the fall because of his brother. Mm -hmm. Mm, everything, that, everything he's done was for his love for his brother. That scene in the car and his was hard. brother was steering him the wrong way the entire time. Yeah. And the thing is, like how you're saying that everything that he was doing was just for his older brother. But yet, when we turn the story around, the opposite. His older brother was thinking that he was doing everything that he can for his little brother. But tell but he, he was just he was doing everything he, for himself. He was doing it for himself. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Like, to the point where he knew he was gonna get whack. He put the gun on his brother. Yeah. Yeah. You know that scene in the car when they, when they were talking back and forth. I, that was hard. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. You, can, you, can you can see him. It's like, wow, Charlie. You know, I could have been somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, I could have been a contender. I could I could have had class. 
Like, mm-hmm. he knew he was above this, what's going on here. Yeah. And he sacrificed all that for his brother because his brother was in, was, was, uh, was, was, uh, what, the, the, the Johnny people, Friendly. Man. Was Johnny Friendly. Yep. You know? And, and then the, the, the guy really, that guy really had his thumb on, the, on his whole neighborhood, bro. Yeah. It, he did. Which, by the way, that guy was good. I liked, I don't know who that actor was. The guy played Johnny Friendly? Mm. He was good the whole time. He was awesome. I have he, no idea he, as well. He, he was pretty good. He was pretty, you know, intimidating. Mm. He had that tough guy attitude until, you know, until he got smacked around towards the end. Like, he had that intimidating factor about him. Like, yeah, like, this is not yeah, the guy yeah, you want to yeah. mess with. I wanted to you know, know more. I wanted to know more about him. I wanted to know more. I wanted. I wanted more scenes. A couple more scenes to to be involved with him. A little more I, backstory. Yeah, 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 more backstory. Yeah, that would have been interesting. Yeah, that would have been interesting to get. Because uh, I really, yeah. I really, really did enjoy him. So I really wanted to know, like, what else does he control? Like, how big is this mob? Like, what more about the operations and things like that? Which I'm guessing that's not the obviously the. The direction the movie wanted to go with, but I, I I wanted to know more about him. I think when we were looking at, I think it's called the ACI, that that list of top 100 movies. Uh, uh, I might have to let it look wrong. Oh, when when we look back and we saw North by Northwest was like n- number 50, I think it is. Mm-hmm. I think this movie was also on that list. Yeah, really? You know, we have to double check to see. Yeah, we gotta get. I believe so. I, and I can see why. You know, this is. You know, earlier today I had a conversation with Alex about the movies back then. You know that you no, know, but now that you know this generation, we have movies on our in our pockets. Mm-hmm. You know, any moment you can be somewhere and check out a movie. Back then, the the the, the audience like, they didn't have cable. Uh, some maybe didn't even have TV, and if they did right. have TV, who knows how many channels they had? Like, on. They don't. They don't have right. a choice on they don't, what movie they get to watch. They don't have a choice. Yeah. So going to those big to the theater back then was was an experience. You know, you're paying money. For what you're watching, but at the same time you're getting a product that you know between story and actor, you gain them return, and it had to be a magical thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not to knock today's movies. Today's movies are, are, I mean, they are they're good. They are good, but there are some movies that you don't get this. You don't get this type of caliber of acting, right? This caliber of story. Mm-hmm. Like you, there's no there's no special effects here, you know, other than maybe the blood on his arm or whatnot. If you want to call it special effects, yeah. Like they had to carry the story on their shoulders. More actor driven. Yeah, you know, yeah, more yeah, actor, yeah. actor driven. Well, today you put like I think the other day or oh, yesterday, the trailer for uh, the new Rings of Power right. came out, right? And all you see is the special effects of the of the backgrounds. You know, yeah. oh look at this castle, or oh, look at this. I haven't even seen you know? that yet. So it's all special effects. I didn't see any substance in that trailer. Right. I'm not. It might be great, but I'm like, okay, that that didn't really suck me in. Right. While here. You're looking at Marlon Brando, most likely on top of his game mm-hmm. at yeah. the time, right? Uh, 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 Ava, her first movie, and she's on top of her game. Mm-hmm. The guy playing the priest, I love that guy. Yeah, I oh really my love God, that he's guy. Amazing. Like you can feel he's making that speech in the boat. He's getting hit left and right, and you can hear his passion about what's going yeah. on, the injustice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what, I mean, almost, almost. As, almost like Jesus himself being, you know, be, be, preaching to the people and yeah. then at the same time being like persecuted. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he was not moving. He was unflinching to face what was what was happening. You know, honestly, was I'm, so he was glad that acting. You know, honestly, the I'm only... glad that nothing happened to him. Same I'm, I'm glad yeah. to see that nothing happened. I'm not glad you. I thought they're going to take this man. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Like, this guy, Every target. single yep. moment when he was alone, I was like, they're going to whack him now. That... Right now, while, while the cameras pan to whatever's going on. Right in the back that of that scene, head. that scene with Terry and the girl, how he was gonna, and he was stop and he was stop. Bro, and then the <laughs> panel of him, like his backside, I thought he was gonna be a brick to just like. Hey, I expected him to get an ice pick Honestly. to the head or a shot or something. I was like, so there is something about it's something to say about these types of films that you know, and I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was not aware or know that I even thought about uh, these films and how. Different right. and and the substance you're getting from these the actors, impact. the impact of how this feels. Like it just ended and the way it ended. You know, it, that was such a great ending. You know, I can only imagine that people must have just shot up and started clapping at the end of the no, day. It's crazy. crazy. You know, that was such that was so impactful. And again, all of it had to be carried by the acting, even the the extras. Right. You can feel it on their faces. You can see in their faces like yeah. this dread. Like I don't. This is this is my life. 
Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the father, he's like, you know, this is, I don't want this life for you. You know, when yeah. my, I made a promise to your mom. And you felt that, that you know, guilt. Uh, yeah. uh, the guy who was in, at the church saying, you, would you stand up with me? I'll stand up with you. And you can feel like that. He was sick of it. He was yeah. just sick of it, you know? Yeah. So And the camaraderie. It, it, it was coming, exhuming out of them, this this story. They were telling the story, and you felt the story. I was you know, excellent. You felt this story. And it wasn't like, again, no special tricks, no great camera. Nope. No great camera angles, no great, you know, background. Oh, look at the cinematography. No, it was just strictly character based, strong story. Yep. I loved every bit of it. You know, I it thought was it was quite impactful. And again, not knocking. Listen, you still got movies today that are like that, you know, yeah. uh, that you can get a good drama. Maybe we don't want to go to a theater about it. People right. don't want to go to the movie theater to watch a movie like this. Right. Like this movie right here, if it came out today, it would be a rental. Yeah. I, I don't think people yeah, appreciate correct. it. You're absolutely right. I don't right. think people go to the movie theater to watch a movie like this, which was probably one of the greatest movies that came out in the theater at the time. You right. know what I mean? We go to the movie theater right now, we have to see the flashiness. We want to go see uh, 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 the, the machine. We want to see that Transformer. We yeah. have to see the IMAX. Yeah. I want my seat to move around. Yep. You know, th th that's that's what we've become. Hey, man. I don't know about the hey, seats I love my, down, at least. I love my yeah, IMAX. Don't, don't be no hating right? on no it's IMAX. It's not knock on that. Don't be no, hating on IMAX. Saying, it's still enjoyable, <laughs> but, it's, but I wish that we could still get a that movie excitement. like this. And steal it and get the magic of what we just saw into a theater nowadays, right? We saw we saw uh, uh, Top Gun, right? Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Top Gun. It's not this, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. The, the story behind this, right. uh, compared to two stories, yep. Top Gun was garbage compared right. to this type of movie. story. Well, made, yes. But 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 if you look at yeah. the, the, the 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 action, the jets, good. you know that's like that, that's what's bringing people to the it's theater. Action. It's just. This thrill of, it, of that, mm -hmm. like, okay. I mean, and I love it. I'm not knocking it, but there's something here. I'm like, wow. Like I, I like, I'm like, oh, yeah. This is like a little bit fantastic. It, watch it in the theater. Back it then. goes. It. We're going away from more story-driven movies to more of a. How can we make this movie visually appealing to a big audience? Yeah. So yeah. let's throw in. I don't know, a T-Rex fighting Thor. Explosion. Be great, right? Wow, that would be amazing. That would be amazing, right? Yeah. Two-minute trailer on YouTube. Hey, I want to go see that. Uh, barely in a story. And then you can just throw in a couple characters here and there. Just a one-liner, right? Here, boom, say but, that. But, but us living today, are we cheapening ourselves? We are. Because when you get movies, like, for example, we're speaking like, I don't know, Hereditary, right? If we're, it's a horror movie. Right? We've seen horror, but you throw in a little bit of story, great acting and story. You're like, when you see movies with great actors and great acting and great direction, you go, that was amazing. That was great. And this is just one of those movies where you see the acting, you see the story, and you have to appreciate it. Yeah, you have to appreciate mm -hmm. this movie. We have to give, we have to give it the respect it deserves. Yeah, uh, for, for 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 what it is. Yeah, that and the thing is uh, that, that most people today. Uh, I want people be my own age who put it, you probably wouldn't go back and watch a movie like this yeah. or appreciate it. And probably most people my age or older saw movies like this because their parents saw it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I saw it with my dad took me to the theater and what. Yeah. It wasn't their own choice, you know? So this type of cinema, I think, is dying. And, and, and it's a sad state of affairs because this, again, will go. This would this would go into straight to DVD and even then or, 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 or streaming. It wouldn't be uh, uh, like oh, do you guys gonna watch this new drama movie? Like I don't know what movie right now that's this type of caliber that closest to it. that that yeah. that was like a major hit. That and I, 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 what I mean by oh, my fucking example. Uh, Alex and I saw um, the last duel. The last that duel. was amazing. The yep. last duel, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't think that people wanted to watch it. I think, I know there was some controversy involved in it, but it was a box office. Fun. Not a not a single person but the that I know. Acting was, was so good. Not a single the person story I know. Was the story amazing. was amazing. That was such a good movie. Nobody, and, but that's the thing. No love. Nope. Not a single person I know has been like, Yo, Alex, the last two. Not a single person. Not not one. Not no. one. And the movie was fun, beginning to end. Uh, a little bit of action. I think there was two major action sequences in the movie. Yes. One right in the middle, then obviously the end. Um, pun intended. But <laughs> um, nobody was talking about it, and it was just people. Oh, it's a lot of talking, and, and it was breaking. It was yeah. broken. 
I hear it's that all the time. A lot of talking, bro. It's a, this I'm, was yeah, all talking, all talking, and we were sucked in. Mm-hmm. You know, the, yep. the fact that uh, 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 oh, I don't want to you know. I, they were talking. I don't know what's going on. They were just talking in it. Yeah, all, all. like what? It's acting. I, I can't. I, it's, if you tell me that you didn't like the movie because there was so much talking, I, I, I can't be your friend. It's easy to hide. <laughs> it's easy to have a bad, bad acting with a bunch of like um, driving scenes and and. CGI this and jumping from buildings, but when it's just every other scene, it's just a camera in front of you. You, if your acting is bad, dude, you can't hide it. I'm gonna tell you. you can't I, hide I'm gonna tell you right it, now. I think the last movie I saw, I don't talk a lot of words, that I thought was fantastic. Uh, it's a movie called Fences with Denzel Washington. Fences. All right. It's cool. a play turned into a movie, which we have to react to that. You got. I need you guys to react to that, and only mostly to compare it to. The type of acting that we don't have any, that we don't mm-hmm. see on a regular basis. Because mm-hmm. I thought Denzel Washington was on top of his game and the story was fantastic. Is the setting? It's just is that the is, it, is well, that the scene where yeah, he, I took your brother? He looks at his. Is that the one where he looks at his son? And he goes, um, "Love you. I don't need to love you. I don't need. To I don't need you. to love yeah. you." And then he's well, like, "Oh I think, my I, god!" I think that's a little unfair because Denzel Washington is always on the top of his game with any movie he does because it's Denzel Washington. No, but it's his caliber drama is what I mean. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. known for his actions and whatnot, yeah. you know, it, 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 this, you know it, some of his movies could be, you know, a little bit over the top in terms of, like, uh, uh, what we what we love today. Mm-hmm. But comparing it to a cinema, mm-hmm. all right, when it comes to where, where the whole movie relies on your acting and your dialogue, per, it goes that to movie goes up there. It goes to show my brother fell asleep. Yeah. I took his brother to my the brother theater. Why did we go watch this movie? He was out in like that twenty like, minutes, out throughout the whole movie. Yeah, and I, I looked at him like, right, man, you're, cra- you're I crazy. wanted to punch him right through the face. You're crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I, you're wanted cra- to, I wanted the popcorn and punch him with the popcorn box. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But you don't appreciate it. Um, we love you, but we love you, Papa. I. That's why I appreciate these movies and the fact that we have people like people on our Patreon. We thank you very much. That you've opened our eyes to movies like this, that we are that that they're I feel like they're enriching my mind in terms of like oh, this, these stories, like these movies are out there that always been there. In fact, this is like buried treasure. Where yeah, you know, and, absolutely, and, and, absolutely. And all, honestly, it's not even just movies itself. It's also just shows that our patreons have recommended or even our subscribers themselves. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, if that was for, if it wasn't for the reactions, I would have never thought about watching Star Trek. Honestly, I right. thought it was I thought it was cheesy. You know, honestly, I'm gonna be straightforward. I thought it was 100 percent cheesy, but I got sucked into it. <laughs> now, <laughs> actually paying attention to it, I got sucked into it <laughs> to the point where I actually don't pass any social media things about Star Trek. I actually pay attention. What's to going it. on? What's happening? Like, <laughs> what's up with Captain Kirk? I do appreciate that because, like, mentioning the fact that this is like buried treasure, you find a nugget here. Yeah. And like, wow, this is fantastic. You know, I I, I don't look at I, I don't look at these classy movies anymore. As though, I, was like, eh, I don't feel that way no more. I was like, oh, you know, that's probably great. That's probably something I should be watching. Like, you know? I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I've, and I've said this in another video before. There has not been a a subscriber special that we, didn't like. that we have not liked. Oh, they got taste. Right. They, they got, got bro, taste. we mm-hmm. want to the chef's kitchen. Oh, oh, this is thanks, not a challenge. Like, like, don't give us crabby movies. No, no, please don't. No, 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 no. Like, no, you want a crabby movie? Check out this movie. Hot tub time machine. What the what are we looking at? Because yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you why. We'll tell you. Uh, if it sucks, it sucks. We ain't gonna lie. Listen, uh, if I fall asleep during a movie, then you've won an achievement. Because I have <laughs> never fallen asleep. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad we saw this. This was on the waterfront. This was with Marlon Brando. 1954, I believe what this movie was from. Yep. Uh, classic. Loved every bit about this movie. Guys, if you like what we're doing, guys, we have a Patreon. We have a merch store. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, get notifications from us. Uh, we, we, we enjoy doing this. We enjoy doing this for you guys. Uh, guys, one of the reasons we do this is because we want to bring some joy into this world. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the way the world is going and having a smile and enjoying movies like this and being able to reminisce uh, about these types of movies. Uh, I, we love doing this kind of stuff, guys. Yeah. And if you, again, if you like what, you, what we're doing here, please consider supporting us. You can get this reaction uh, uh, completely uh, unedited for a little dollar a month. This is going to be in our Patreon available there. Uh, you have to sync up some information and stuff that, but it's it's not that difficult to do. All right. Uh, I want to take this moment here and thank everybody who's on my Patreon. I'm gonna just shout a couple names. Catherine, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, Russ, thanks for hanging out. Y'all, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, 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 John out there, 
We love you guys. You know, just a couple of names, guys. Uh, we appreciate what you're doing for us. Uh, stay tuned. We got more stuff coming your way, guys. Just hanging out with us. Have a great one. Take care. <laughs>